me just get my Lizzo on. All my hopes and dreams in one bag. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so excited. This is my first clothing haul. And I decided to go out with Bang. Pretty little thing. I've only ordered from them once before. And the shirts were okay, but the pants really didn't fit. So now I know I have to get a little bit bigger in pants because your girl Chunky. This is the Chunky Girl Edition. Plus size, chunky, curvy. I like the word chunky, so that's what I'm going to use. I've always called myself chunky, referred to myself as chunky. It's a positive thing, y'all. This haul is extra. These clothes are extra. They're so me. I did get some things that are trendy. I try not to go too trendy because, you know, down the line, I want to keep these clothes. Otherwise, I could still sell them, but I'm rambling on at this point. I think I spent around... 350 but that's because I had like a 60% sale so I don't want to say it's $350 $350 because it's not actually $350 y'all this stuff all together is expensive it was like around 600 to $700 I have to actually tally everything up pretty little thing always has a sale always this video so long overdue I ordered these items January 18th and it is February 18th so a whole month that is on me that is not on them they ship fast these actually shipped me on the 23rd so the 18th to the 23rd that's really fast shipping shipping cost me only eight dollars for all these items that's very cheap I try to group these into outfits as best I can to make it go faster so I'm doing more than one thing so let's just get okay. into the first one so this is their infamous crop top honestly because of my boobs and my smaller waist you can barely even see the thing and i just got lipstick on it damn okay this is a size 16 on the top i do have huge boobs so i knew i had to get something a little bit bigger it feels comfortable i kind of don't like how the arms don't come all the way down but i don't even know why i'm tripping off of that Cause I'm a person who always goes like this anyway. I hate my arms being covered. For the pants, this is what I was talking about. I ordered size 12. I know I'm forever 21, I'm a size 12. So I ordered for size 12 the first time I got pretty little thing pants. And they didn't even come up to here. They were like, here. <laughs> Guys, let me actually read the size chart. So these are a size 16. All these sizes are US sizes that I'm telling you right now. I can put the UK sizes um, in the description and also in this video, I can insert all the UK sizes. But it ain't coming up my belly. It ain't coming up Bertha. Bertha is what I call my belly and it ain't, it, it, but it won't button. I just got my period so I could be bloated. But for all these girls out here who are the plus size where they don't have a slimmer stomach and bigger thighs. These are big thigh friendly though, because these, my thighs, my hips are wide. So they're, they're thick thigh friendly, but the top as a mom jean, I don't know. I actually don't mind having the stomach show out because these are so high up. Like it would be literally in my waist if I buttoned it. So with the belly showing, it's like at the normal, you know, cut off where normal jeans stop. Notice from my shape, straight leg just looks the best. But for those of us who are apple shape, inverted triangle shape, meaning they're bigger on the top, small on the bottom, that's me. For those of us who are hourglass, but have more in the pooch area, the Bertha area, the tummy area, the chunky jiggly bit area, this, you might have to size up. You might have to size up. If you like the baggy jean look, I will go for this. For these, I actually like the gray color better because the arms on this are tight, like tight. If you're a plus girl who has naturally bigger arms, I would size up. 
But the funny part about this one is the shirt part. See, I got lipstick on it already again. Oh my God, I must have lipstick on my hands and not realize it. The shirt part of this comes down longer, which is weird. I don't know why. But I like this one better, even though the arms are tighter because it comes down longer. So you can actually see the band on it. And these pants, these are the distressed mom jean. And I like these better than the other ones. They come up higher. They fit a little better. So I know when I'm off my period, I could probably button it. But y'all, it ain't buttoning. But these are so, I love the cuts in these jeans. I'm so excited. I also think that if you are basing your sizes on Forever 21 Plus, like I do, y'all should stop doing that especially on their jeans because if you notice forever 20 jeans they're not real jeans that's why they always rip fast i know y'all deal with it i'm not the only one rip fast the belt part rips fast they rip in the middle they're like a really stretchy material they're more like a jegging and these are more like a jean like these feel rough and tough they're actual jeans like these are high quality to me these are good qualities i feel like they're kind of comparable with Old Navy, but to me, even Old Navy still sells jeggings. Like, this is good quality. If you're looking for thick, real jeans, durable jeans, jeans that will last, I say pretty little thing. But if you're someone who has, you know, a Bertha on you, a nice big Bertha, I would, you know, think about sizing. I would size up. Really take time to measure yourself. Don't just go off of what you are in other stores because sizing is different. bitch let me just get my lizzo on real quick let me just okay like all my hopes and dreams in one bag this is so cute you can tell once the basics got away like i'm not a basics person but i had to buy them because you know sometimes you want to lounge but now we get into it i had to get my little bag i looked everywhere for a tiny 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 bag and tell you pretty little thing has the smallest ones forever 21 has them too but pretty little thing this bag listen all my hopes and dreams in this tiny little bag i love this so much i hope y'all don't see my vagina it's so cute and unique and i love it i thought it wasn't gonna fit because you know boobs come first legs come last and if the boobs don't fit it ain't gonna work I'm going from the top but oh i am so hype Ooh, ooh, i can't wait to style this i can't wait to style this Y'all, outfit of the day coming soon. 10 out of 10, both of them. Now I'm living in color. Love looks better in color. So this is a 10, this is a 10. This is so comfortable. I love a high neck. <sighs> okay, let me get another one because if I talk too much, I could be on this all day. These joggers are so cute and comfy. They're size 16. I like them. This um, bodysuit is actually one shoulder, but I'm wearing the most granny of granny bras, so I was trying to cover that. Um, it's off the shoulder. It only fits because I have this on. I made a mistake and accidentally ordered this in a size 24. I am a size 14, 16, not a 24, but for some reason, because of boobs, thank God, it fits. So I will have to just like tuck it in i can't button it because it's gonna hang i have to tuck it in i'm debating whether i should just give this away but it's a nice basic item i ran out of tank tops they all have ripped this quality feels so soft and good i'm so used to forever 21 feeling so scratchy like the tank tops but then again they tank tops like three dollars so you get what you pay for sis this is cute i'm loving it i feel like you gotta catch the wind
catch the wind. This is so, uh, when I saw this item, this is what started the whole shopping spree. I saw this item on sale and I'm like, oh my God. I just, uh, I needed it. I needed it in my life. I accidentally got these a little big, but they still fit. I am screaming at these pants. Look at these bell bottoms. I swear every time I shop, I find one outfit, one piece of clothing that's so unique. I have to ask myself, why did I even buy this? So this jacket is a size 16 and it's small in the arms. And look, I just ripped it. Just ripped it. That is crazy. So cute though, but it just ripped. I'm gonna have to alter this some way because it's already ripped now. This zebra print bag is giving me life. So, disregard these pants. They're not even from Pretty Little Thing. This jacket, the pop collar. Hold on, let me fold it down too. So cute. Oh my goodness. I need this in my life. Well, I have it now. Okay, let me do the look where it's off the shoulders. You cannot tell me this is not a look. You cannot tell me. Classic trench coat, basic trench coat. I think not. Bam. This is, uh, I wish it came with a, a stash, but it's kind of big on me anyway. Oh, this is so cute. This is not to keep you warm though. You can wear this I wouldn't say summer, but late spring, early summer. You could wear this up and to. It's so light and breathable, especially because of the back. I love that little surprise, like bam. This is another shirt that I was so excited to get. It's a size 16, but like I say, with all the pretty little thin shirts, the arms are so tight and my arms are not super huge. So someone who has thicker arms, naturally, they're gonna have to size way up. And if you're a person who has bigger arms and a smaller chest, the shirt's just gonna fit weird. Like for me, it fits weird. It fits tight on the chest and tight on the arms, but it's loose at the bottom. Like that's kind of weird, but I'm glad it is. So at least the boobs can fit a little bit. If it was tight on the bottom, I wouldn't even be able to get this over my head. I wouldn't. And this is a size 16, like, I don't know, but it feels so good. That's the thing I have to say about Pretty Little Thing. Their quality is so good. Like it's worth the price. Some sites you look at the price and you're like, girl, like, I won't say no names because they <clears throat> steal from artists. But anyway, yeah, I didn't even zip the back up of the neck, but it would be a little tighter. This is so cute. If I actually had a real bra and not my granny bra, it would look like more in and up. But this is, I love it. So like I said, if you have bigger arms, I would size up. If you have bigger boobs, I would size up. Um, if you're a person who has a smaller chest and bigger arms, this may not be the shirt for you, just being honest. Sometimes some stuff isn't for me. Like those pants you saw weren't for me. You might want something that's a little bit stretchier that also has the pattern on it. So cute. This chain, I like chains like these because then I could 
put it around my waist. Yes. Ooh. Like a little fanny pack. I love a good chain fanny pack. I love it. It brings in those gold accents, which I love. I'm more of a gold girl instead of a silver girl. It just complements my body. I love reds. So the brightness, the gold, it, uh, honestly, this haul is the best I could have ever asked for, for 80% of these items to fit really well. And some of them can be altered. I can work with them. I don't have to throw anything out or give anything away. It just makes me so happy as a chunky girl. It makes me so happy that we're not wearing basics all the time. We're not wearing oversized stuff all the time we're not wearing you know the little moos with the floral print it's actual stuff that everybody else can wear so we can be a part of the fashion too i love that so much it took a lot to zip up i'm not even gonna lie to you but honestly i love it i thought i would get something a little more out of my comfort zone i don't usually wear stuff this short I'm lying, I do wear short stuff, but not all the time. And not this tight. I don't wear bodycon dresses, especially not satin ones like this, like a slip dress, because I feel like they show everything. Every little imperfection you have, every little roll they show, they don't cover it up like a spandex would or something. So this is way out of my comfort zone. It hides nothing, but I actually like it. I always thought I didn't have the body for a bodycon because I don't have like huge hips coming out here and a huge you know booty my butt to go on the flat flat side but this is really cute i think the lace-up option i've done this a lot with my body suits and my bandeau tops it's a good option for people who have big boobs because then you can adjust how much you want to show so you can let it out when you're putting on the dress so it um it's easier to zip up and then when you have it on you can tighten it up afterwards and that's such a good option it helps you put clothes on that you didn't think you would be able to fit before these little things at the bottom they look like they could go into like a garter belt or something or clip onto like knee highs so i want to try that and the top is a little too loose when i was zipping it up honey that thing was tight but now that i have it on it's a little loose I think it's so cute though. I love the color. I love how my hair was so cute in the beginning, but after I was trying all these clothes on, I ain't care no more. It's a synthetic wig, y'all. Y'all know I don't spend money on no weed. So it was what it is now. You know. Now you know, for the last outfit, we had to go out with a bang, a banger. All see-through, PVC, noise-making outfit. So the pants, I sized up, they're a little big. I probably should have sized up one size, I sized up two. Instead of 16, I got a 20, I probably should have got an 18 because I know once I stop being bloated, this, these pants will not stay up. They're just gonna have to be a low rise baggy eventually. The top is not all the way zipped, which is to be, I'm trying not to tie my butt, <laughs> which is to be expected because my boobs are so big, but I'm shocked it even fits up this high. It, my God, this is so cute. I need somewhere to go. I need a fashion shoot to do. I need something. These glasses are not from them, they're from Forever 21, but I had to complete the look in this bag. Baby, I look like I stepped out of a video game, straight up. Pretty Little Thing has the best bags, hands down, if you're a novelty bag person like me. Pretty Little Thing and Forever 21, best bags. Best unique bags, best bags where you've never seen before anybody else unless they bought the same thing, but let's be honest. How many people are carrying a bag around like this? That's the way to end off the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you found inspiration. And if you try on things and they don't fit, I know how that feels. It's okay. 
we're human and we all don't look like these models on TV. And even if we do, sometimes they stuff don't fit. I have a hard time trying on stuff too. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes you don't see. So I wouldn't use that as a basis for what is beautiful. You are beautiful. What you wear is beautiful. How you feel when you wear something is beautiful. From a chunky girl to another, wear whatever you want and be happy.